Isn't it wonderful in July when you can find a garden nestled in the shade? And I'm anxious to speak to Joan and Ernie DeWald in Clarksville. Tell us how you started this, Ernie. This was back, we found this house back in 1993, 94, and just loved it because it's situated on the Red River. Oh, wonderful. And the, on the other side of the Red River is a golf course, so there's no homes on the other side. So right. it was really an expansive green. It was just a lovely, lovely area. Yes. And yeah. you expounded on the number of trees that were here naturally and brought things in, didn't you? We brought you? things in. We brought things from our other house here. We brought uh, the, 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 uh, the lilies. Uh, this was all stargazing lilies here. We had thinned them out. We put in hydrangea. There's a peach, a patio Good. peach. It was only a foot tall when we started. Tell us about how the special plants that you brought here from a previous home. From the other home, uh, Ernie dug up all the azaleas and they're up in the nursery. And um, I got some plants from a friend in Cookville. The elephant ears came from Cookville. So that's a wonderful thing to have memories yes. of gardener friends. Yes, yes, most definitely. Um, some of the uh, plants, well, the first wedding we had here, the girls' colors were pink and orange. And so that's why you'll see a lot of pink flowers or orange flowers around. Well, the lamb's ear we brought from the other house also. Okay. I know that there's lots of richness in this area, but let's, let's t follow your path and go around and see, see that river. Okay, let's sure. go. You know, I'm excited to see an example of living in the woods and seeing some natives that just came as a gift. And up on the hill, you have lots of the wild ginger. Yes, yes. yes. And it it's actually works as a ground cover, yes. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And do you ever get down and look for the little blooms underneath the uh, Sometimes, sometimes you can see if it. I'm up pulling weeds. Yeah, <laughs> right. And you know, this area is very good for bringing plants to sort of bring them back to life and, and yeah. re regrow some things. And this is a great example of having that good rich dirt and like for azaleas that might be sick. Yes. yes. Okay, now then I'm really impressed with your lily of the valley. Yeah. And is that a family heirloom plant? Came from Tennessee Tech. Well, that's part of our mm -hmm. uh, system of agriculture. Yes, yes. Yes. Right. Yes. And I see nestled in there, you even have Helleborus, don't you? Yes. Yes, that came from here in, uh, across the river. Yeah. Well, let's go and walk around the curvature of the river. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see this fig, but tell me this fig story. This was, before the freeze, this was about almost 10 feet tall. Oh my goodness. It was a huge, it was very productive, and we loved it, and then the freeze totally destroyed it, down to the ground. So we had it cut down to the ground, and it's Coming rejuvenated. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, you... We would get hundreds of figs, Ernie would make fig jam, fig oh. bread, Beverly would take them and make all kinds of fig desserts for right. us. We thought we had lost it because it was, it was so I know, bad. but you know, it, you're an example of patience. Uh, some things did do that. And, and I'm, I'm happy to see that you're going to be happy yes. To, yes. Have, to have figs. Yes. I can't say, oh, I do see there might be pro the potential here of where they come out on the stems. Yeah. We're going to trim it back. Gerald's going to trim it back so all the energy will go into the big plant for next year. Mm -hmm. That does happen. Okay, I know that nestled in and among all of these wonderful tall trees along this river, you have some special plants that you like and that you have planted yourself. So let's go see some of those. Okay. There's no finer place on earth than standing right here among mm -hmm. these trees. The wind and the breeze is, is wonderful, but again, over into your taller trees, you're blessed to have another native plant. You have the eastern red cedars. Yes. And uh, did they have damage from the winter? No. Well, that's they did not. that that's a good thing. All right, and then and they started only as little. I know. Yeah. And you have watched they're your babies. Yes. Yeah. You yes. watched them mature, and then right before us. This is a Coosa dogwood, and you planted that one? We planted that one, yes. Yes, and, and um, I love to watch the squirrels <laughs> harvest, and people don't realize there is a fruit. Yes. yes. And it's also edible for us. Oh, oh right. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah. okay. And then I know that the, the sun only accentuates the, the limelight. Yeah, yes. That is, that's very pretty. And I love the limelight because now some of the other hydrangea are fading, mm -hmm. going past. 
but right now we have the limelight yeah. to light us up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, want, I know you do have the pawpaw, and I think yeah. you have a very good example of one down the river. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. All right. You know, I don't know why I'm surprised. Here you are with natives everywhere. You have a colony of pawpaw trees. Of which I had never heard of. In Washington, D.C., I don't know that we had any pawpaws. Yeah, see, they grow in a little cluster. Yes. They are called, and you know, I recently discovered some in my woods. It's so native here. And uh, they are such an interesting plant. I know the deer love them. They do. But they're above the, you know, they call it a grazing line. They get to where they can't eat them, and then they'll stand on their feet, and yes. then it's done. Yes. And I was so happy when a lot of my landscape plants reached that. Well, and I think that in some other areas, you have some very fascinating things that you've added to your landscape, like a bottle brush buckeyes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking over here and I see at least a 45 degree slope over here. And this something happened over here and you had to do rebuild, didn't you? Yeah, there was a, a flood in 2010 that took out the back retaining area of this of, for the tennis court where it was built. And it, it just rotted, it just took, took out the, the, uh, the ties. Everything went to the Every, river. Everything went to the river. The water took it with yeah. them. Yeah. That just blows my mind that we're standing where water was. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay, so then you had someone professionally come in then and build this and wall then, and capped it off. Yes. So that it's, now that is that is put in with mortar. It's not dry stacked, is it? It's dry stacked. Yeah. Oh, it is a dry stack. Yeah, they're interlocking. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like it's taken care of. Yeah. Yes. Of what you yes. need there. And I do see that you do have a beautiful spring display over there with dogwood. Yes. And uh, it's just amazing to stand here with you because you had a dream, Ernie. Yeah. You yeah. wanted to be Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> and then I remember, <laughs> didn't you? No, I, I saw this. I said, we can make this better. We can help it, keep it from going into the river. Okay. Well, you've, you've uh, accomplished you've... your goal. And I know that you are a sharing couple and people enjoy what you've built here and you brought memories with you yeah. and you have made new memories here. Yes. I commend you. People for people enjoy coming to do family uh, reunion pictures down on the wall you're, see, and you're, sitting in the the um, gazebo and then the fun thing had been weddings that we've had here. Right. And you know the most the most intriguing part and warming part is that you share. What good is it? It's not love until you give it away. Yeah, that's right. And you've done that, and right. I, I thank you so much. Oh, oh I'm glad we you. got to meet you, and thank you yes. for coming. Thank, yes. you. thank you. Hope you'll come back. If you like gardening, you'll want to subscribe to this channel. We showcase gardeners, plants, and the joy that growing can bring.